baby bed, baby bed. What do you see? Maybe, maybe it's the brown bear's son. Let's start. Baby bear, baby bear. What do you see? I see a red fox slipping by me. Red fox, red fox. What do you see? I see a flying squirrel gliding by me. Flying squirrel, flying squirrel. What do you see? I see a mountain goat climbing near me. Mountain goat, mountain goat. What do you see? I see a blue heron flying by me. Blue heron, blue heron. What do you see? I see a prairie dog digging by me. Prairie dog, prairie dog. What do you see? I see a striped skunk strutting by me. Mule deer, mule deer. What do you see? I see, I see a rattlesnake sliding by me. Rattlesnake, rattlesnake. What do you see? I see a screech owl hooting at me. Screech owl, screech owl. What do you see? I see a mama bear looking at me. Mama bear, mama bear. What do you see? I see a red fox, a flying squirrel, a mountain goat, a blue heron, a prairie dog, a striped skunk, a mule deer, a rattlesnake, a screech owl, and my baby bear looking at me. That's what I see. The author wrote a little bit about all of these animals. North America is filled with thousands of species of wildlife. These creatures have lived in their habitat for centuries. Together, we can work to ensure that they will remain wild and free forever. This book features one of these great American animals. So this bear is a grizzly bear. And they live in North America, and so do red foxes, and flying squirrels, and mountain goats, and blue herons, and prairie dogs, and striped skunks, and mule deers, and rattlesnakes, and screech owls, and mama, and and mama bears that take care of the little baby bears. All of these animals live in North America. We're going to read Brown Bear, Brown Bear. What do you see? Brown Bear, Brown Bear. What do you see? I see a red bird looking at me. Red bird, red bird. What do you see? I see a yellow duck looking at me. That's really, that's a really pretty red bird. With a nice pretty tail, a pink tail. Wow, really beautiful. Yellow duck, yellow duck. What do you see? I see a blue horse looking at me. Blue horse, blue horse. What do you see? I see a green frog looking at me. Green frog, green frog. What do you see? I see a purple cat looking at me. That's a really cute frog. He looks like it's ready to jump on the cat. Purple cat, purple cat. What do you see? I see a white dog looking at me. White dog, white dog. What do you see? I see a black sheep looking at me. It's the Baba black sheep. Black sheep, black sheep. What do you see? I see a goldfish looking at me. Baba black sheep, have you any wool? Yes sir, yes sir, three bags full. Goldfish, goldfish, what do you see? I see a monkey looking at me. Monkey, monkey, what do you see? I see children looking at me. Children, children, what do you see? We see a brown bear, a red bird, a yellow duck, a blue horse, a green frog, a purple cat, a white dog, a black sheep, a goldfish, and a monkey looking at us. That's what we see. And that's the caterpillar. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on the leaf. 
One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and popped out of the egg, tiny and very hungry caterpillar. Aww. He started to look for some food. One morning he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. Yeah. On Tuesday he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. On Thursday he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. On Friday he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. So much! But now he's going to eat a lot of yummy stuff. On Saturday he ate through one piece of chocolate cake. Mmm, I'd like some. Mmm, mmm, mmm. One ice cream cone. One pickle, no thank you. One slice of Swiss cheese. One slice of salami. Mmm, salami. Mmm. One lollipop. Look, yummy. One piece of cherry pie. Mmm, mm, mm. One sausage. Um, one cupcake. Mmm. And one slice of watermelon. Yes, please. That night he had a stomachache. I'd imagine. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate for one nice green leaf, and after that he felt much better. And there's the leaf! Now he wasn't hungry anymore, and he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big fat caterpillar. Oh, very fat. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled the hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out, and he was a butterfly. Polar bear, polar bear, what do you hear? Polar bear, polar bear, what do you hear? I hear a lion roaring in my ear. Lion, lion, what do you hear? I hear a hippopotamus snoring in my ear. <laughs> Snoring hippopotamus. Imagine what that sounds like. I know. Hippo, hippo, what do you hear? I hear a flamingo fluting in my ear. Flamingos can play the flute. <laughs> flamingo, flamingo, what do you hear? I hear a zebra braying my, in my ear. Zebra, zebra, what do you hear? I hear a boa constrictor hissing in my ear. Oh, <laughs> do you know which snake is the best to build a house in the jungle? Or a rainforest? A boa constrictor. Boa constrictor, boa constrictor, what do you hear? I hear an elephant trumpeting in my ear. An elephant. Elephant, elephant, what do you hear? I hear a leopard snarling in my ear. Uh oh, a leopard. You better run, elephant. Leopard, leopard, what do you hear? I hear a peacock yelping in my ear. Peacock, peacock, what do you hear? I hear a walrus bellowing in my ear. Walrus, walrus, what do you hear? I hear a zookeeper whistling in my ear. Zookeeper, zookeeper, what do you hear? I hear children. Growling like a polar bear, roaring like a lion, snorting like a hippopotamus, fluting like a flamingo, roaring like a zebra, hissing like a boa constrictor, trumpeting like an elephant, snarling like a leopard, bellowing like a walrus. That's what I hear. The very busy spider. Early one morning, the wind blew a spider across the field. A thin, silky thread trailed from her body. The spider landed on a fence post near a farmyard and began to spin a web with her silky thread. Nay! Nay! Want to go for a ride? That's a very funny looking horse. The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. Moo, moo, said the cow. 
want to eat some grass? But the spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. Bleated the sheep. Want to run in the meadow? The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. Said the crow. Want to jump on rocks? The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. Granted the pig, want to roll in the mud? The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. Barked the dog, want to chase the cat? The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. Quack, quack, called the duck. Want to go for a swim? But the, sp the spider didn't answer. She had now finished her web. Cock a doo doo! Crowed the. Want to catch a pesty fly? And the spider caught the fly in her web. Just like that. Ooh, ooh! Asked the owl. Who built this beautiful web? The spider didn't answer. She had fallen asleep. It had been a very, very busy day. Very lonely firefly. As the sun set, a little firefly was born. It stretched its wings and flew off into the darkening sky. It was a lonely firefly and it flashed its light, searching for other fireflies. The sun is setting. I love sunset. It was a lonely firefly. And it flashed its light, searching for other fly fireflies. I saw a light and flew towards it. But it wasn't another firefly. It was a light bulb lighting up the night. But it doesn't look like even look like a firefly. And the light is too big. The firefly saw a light and flew towards it. But it wasn't another firefly. It was a candle flickering in the night. The firefly saw a light and flew towards it. But it wasn't enough firefly. It was a flashlight shining in the night. The firefly alighted and flew towards it. But it wasn't another firefly. It was a lantern glowing in the night. The firefly saw several lights and flew towards them. But there weren't other fireflies. There was a dog. Bow wow. A cat and and an owl. Their eyes reflected the light. Ooh, 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 ooh. The firefly saw a light and flew towards it, but it wasn't enough firefly. It was a cat's headlights flooding the night. Look! Wow! It's beautiful! The firefly saw many lights and flew towards them, but they were not other fireflies. They, they were! Fireworks sparkling and, and glittering and shimmering in the night. Not where? And all was quiet. The firefly flew, flew through the night, flashing its light, looking and searching again. Then the l very lonely firefly saw what it had been looking for. A group of fireflies flashing their lights. Now the firefly wasn't lonely anymore. The grouchy ladybug. Aphids are very small insects. They suck the juice from leaves, and then the leaves die. But lady bugs eat aphids. And, and that's good for cheese, shrubs, and other plants with leaves. It was night, and some fireflies danced around the moon. Do do do. At five o'clock in the morning, the sun came up. And look in the corner, there's a clock. And that clock reads five o'clock in the morning. A friendly ladybug flew in from the left to the one right here. It saw a leaf with many aphids on and decided to have them for breakfast. 
But the blouchy ladybug flew in from the right. Oh no, the grouchy ladybug! Friendly ladybug, run! And that grouchy ladybug also saw the aphids, but it wanted to have them for breakfast too. Who's gonna get the aphids? Only one way to find out. Good morning, said the friendly ladybug. Go away, shouted the grouchy ladybug. I want those aphids. We can share them, suggested the friendly ladybug. No, they're all mine. All mine, screamed the grouchy ladybug. Rude, do you want to fight me for them? They're gonna fight? But they can't. But well, why would you fight over a over food, that's like going to the grocery store. You see your neighbor, and they want to buy, and there's the last cupcakes, and you want to buy those cupcakes, but they want them too. But of course they can, one of them can take them home, and, and the neighbors can share them. That's a little something called manners. If you insist. Answered the friendly ladybug, sweetly. It looked the grouchy ladybug straight in the eye. The grouchy ladybug stepped back. It looked less sure of itself. Oh, you're not big enough for me to fight. It said, Then why don't you pick on someone bigger? I'll do that, screeched the grouchy ladybug. I'll show you. It puffed itself up and flew off. Oh, who's he going to pick on now? At six o'clock, he met a yellow jacket. Oh, and there, at the top, it says six o'clock. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, wanna fight? If you insist, said the yellow jacket, showing its stinger. Oh, no! Stung by a wasp? That would hurt badly. Run away! Before he gets stung! Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. So who's he going to challenge now? At seven o'clock, he saw a stag beetle. A beetle? Ugh, those claws look sharp. Very sharp. But do you think the ladybug's going to fight the stag beetle? Ouch! I hope not. If you don't, if you don't say, Oh, you're not big enough as your lame excuse, then you're doomed, ladybug! Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. Phew! Lame excuse. At eight o'clock, it came across a praying man. Ah! It looks creepy! They have red eyes! And they look evil. Hey, you! said the grouchy ladybug. Wanna fight? If you insist, said the praying mantis, reaching out his, lo his long front legs. At nine o'clock, it almost flew into a sparrow. I do not... I do not know for sure, but I think that sparrows eat ladybugs. Hey you, said the grouchy ladybug, wanna fight if you insist, said the sparrow opening its sharp beak. Nope, I was right, it wants to change its diet. Ladybug, just say it's not big, the sparrow's not big enough. Even though the sparrow is big enough, 
Oh, you're not big enough to do that to me, bug and flew off. It's so scared. At 10 o'clock, he saw a lobster. <gasps> lobster! Oh no, lobster! Those are very big claws. The claws are too big. At 10 o'clock, it saw a lobster. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Wanna fight? If you insist, said the, said the lobster, stretching its claws. Oh, you're not big enough. Monkey Python, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. Mm. At 11 o'clock, he bumped into a skunk. Hey you, said the grouchy ladybug, wanna fight if you insist, said the skunk, starting to lift its tail. Nope, nope, don't you dare, skunk, don't you dare spray us with your toxic smell, please, say so you're not big enough. Oh, you're not big enough. The baby bug and blew up. At 12 noon, it spotted a boa constrictor. A boa constrictor? Those are very big snakes. And you can find them at, in the Amazon rainforest. So if you ever plan to have a holiday in the Amazon rainforest, watch out for a boa constrictor! Hey, you. The grouchy ladybug. Wanna fight if you insist, said the snake right after lunch. Mm. He's gonna eat the squirrel! Squirrel! Oh no! Run away, squirrel! Run away before you for lunch! He doesn't want to have you over for lunch. He wants to eat you as lunch. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. Of course, it doesn't want to be an after-lunch snack. It, it wouldn't even be big enough to be dessert. At one o'clock, it happened upon a hyena. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, wanna fight if you insist, said the hyena, laughing eerily. And showing its teeth. <laughs> oh, you're not big enough for the grouchy ladybug and flew off. He's not gonna fight. At two o'clock, it met a gorilla. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, wanna fight? If you were just said the gorilla, beating its chest. Oh, you're not big enough. <laughs> the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At three o'clock, it ran into a <gasps> rhino. Hey, girl, said the grouchy ladybug. What a fight. If you insist, said the rhinoceros. Lowering its horn. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. What is it doing? Does it, is it gonna, is it just gonna keep pulling off the fight? At four o'clock, he encountered a elephant. Oh my god, an elephant. How are you? Grouchy ladybug, wanna fight? If you insist, said the elephant, lifting its trunk and showing its big dust. <coughs> oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At five o'clock, it met a whale. Hey you, said the grouchy ladybug, wanna fight? But the whale didn't answer at all. You're not big enough anyway. 
kid we got today, he broke and flew off. At at 5.15, the grouchy lady but said to one of the whale's flippers, Hey, you want to fight? But they got no answer, so it flew on. Whale flippers don't talk. At 5.30, the grouchy lady but whale's fin, Hey, you want to fight? At quarter to six, he said to the whale's tail, Hey, you want to fight? But the whale's tail gave gave this grouchy ladybug such a slap that it flew all across the sea and across the land. At six o'clock, the grouchy ladybug arrived back, right back where it started from. It is probably furious right now. Ah, here you are again, said the friendly ladybug. You must be hungry. There are still some eggs left. You can have them for dinner. Oh, thank you, said the wet, tired, and hungry ladybug. Not the grouchy ladybug, the wet, tired, and hungry ladybug. I guess it learned its lesson. You should always share your food. Soon. All the aphids were gone. Thank you, said the leaf. You're welcome, answered both of them. Went to sleep. And the fireflies, who were asleep all day, started to come out again and dance in the moon. And I remember one time that I picked up a ladybug and it was in my house. It was... Mm, and, and I managed to find out how old it was by looking at spots. It was five. Very young. Very clumsy click beetle. One fine morning, a young click beetle decided to go for a walk. The sun is rising. There's nothing like a sunrise in the morning. At noon, it climbed up onto a flower. What flower is that? In the afternoon, it rummaged through a pile of pebbles. I wonder what it's looking for. Is it looking for anything? Or is it just trying to have fun? In the evening, it crawled amongst the two blades of grass. And when it turned night, the young click beetle clipped up a tree. After a while, it got tired and fell to the ground. It landed on his back. The young click beetle tried very hard to turn, turn over onto its feet. But it couldn't. Help! Help! It cried. All along, a wise old click beetle had been watching the, the young click beetle. Tomorrow, each morning, I will teach her to click and flip through the air and land on your feet. They were too quick. In the meantime, you may as well go to sleep. Good night! It's still on its back. It's still there. It flipped through the air and landed on its feet. Now you try, said the wise old beetle. Thank you, that looks easy, replied the young click beetle. Then an earthworm stuck, stuck its head up in the ground. Look at me, said the young click And with a loud, it flipped through the air. Then it landed on its back. Very clumsy of me. Just then, a turtle ambled by. Ambled means walk very, very slowly. Better luck next time, said the turtle. Keep trying. Look at me, said the young thing beetle. I'm with a loud kick. It flipped through the air, but it landed on its back. How very clumsy of me, said the young thing beetle. So then the snail slipped by. Don't worry, said the snail. You'll get there. Look at me, said the young thing beetle. I'm with a loud kick. It flipped through the air, but it landed on its back. How oh, very clumsy of me, said the young tip beetle. Then a mouse scurried, scurried by. You need a little more practice, said the mouse. Look at me, said the young tip beetle. I'm the loud kick. It flipped through the air, but it landed on its back just then. Oh, what was this? The young tip beetle had never seen anything so big. It could not move. It was so scared. A person! Quick! Click and flip, cried the wise old kick beetle who is watching 
Just looking at the click bitu, anti yang click bitu, click dan flip through the air. And, but this time it did three graceful somersaults. And landed on its feet. Yay! Got you! So did the wise old click bitu. You have done it! Yay! And now the click bitu is, is flipping. Does a kangaroo have a mother too? Yes, a kangaroo has a mother. Just like me and you. Does a lion have a mother too? The kangaroo! Yes, a lion has a mother just like me and you. Does a giraffe have a mother too? Oh, lion mess with her little lion cubs. They're adorable. Yes, a giraffe has a mother, just like me and you. Does a penguin have a mother too? Uh oh, I wonder, I can't wait to see baby giraffes. A baby giraffe, oh, so cute, a oh, baby giraffe. But the big giraffe is sticking its tongue out. Yes, a penguin has a mother, just like me and you. Does one have a mother too? I can't wait to see the penguin. Ah! It's so adorable. Baby penguins. Yes, a swan has a mother, just like me and you. Does a fox have a mother too? <gasps> baby swans. Oh, but baby swans are, are, are not white. They're actually grey. Yes, a fox has a mother. Just as me, like me and you. Does a dolphin have a mother too? Oh, I can't wait to see a baby fox. I, I, can't, I can't wait to see a baby fox. Oh, oh baby foxes! It's like fantastic, Mr. Fox. If it was, if it was drawn by Eric Call, this is what this is what the borough would look like. Oh, it's so cute. Yes, a dolphin has a mother, just like me and you. Does a sheep have a mother too? Let's see the dolphins. Oh, baby dolphins! Yes, a sheep has a mother, just like me and you. Does a bear have a mother too? Yes, a bear has a mother, just like me and you. Does an elephant have a mother too? Arr. Oh, bears! I love bears. Bye. Yes, an elephant has a mother, just like me and you. Does a monkey have a mother too? I can't wait to see a baby elephant. Oh, baby elephant. Yes, um, he has a mother, just like me and you. And do animal mothers love their babies? Ooh, look at that little monkey! Yes, yes! Of course they do. Animal mothers love their babies, just as yours loves you. Oh, that, that was such a great book. There are so many little baby animals. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Today we're reading Papa Get the Monkey. Before Monica went to bed, she looked out of her window and saw the moon. The moon looks so near. I wish I could play with the moon, with Monica and read stories. But no matter how much she stretched, she could not touch the moon. Papa got a very long ladder. He carried the very long ladder to a very high mountain. And Papa put the very long ladder on top of the very high mountain. Up and up he climbed. Finally, Papa got to the moon. My daughter Monica would like to play with you, but you are much too big. Every night I get a little smaller with the moon. When I'm just outside, 
you could have picked me to use you. And indeed, you wouldn't go smaller and smaller. When the moon was just the right size, Papa took it down and down the slide. Here, said Papa to Monica, I have the moon for you. Monica danced and danced with the moon. She hugged the moon and threw it in the air. But the moon kept getting smaller and smaller and smaller. Finally, it disappeared altogether. <gasps> then one night, Monica saw a thin sliver of the moon repair. Each night the moon grew and grew and grew. I hope you like this story. Anyway, don't forget to like and subscribe.